Hey everyone! Have you ever thought to yourself, wow, I really want to learn how to draw better, so off to WikiHow I go? Of course you haven't. I mean, it's WikiHow. <laughs> it's like 95% visual comedy and 5% learning stuff that isn't art. But we're gonna check it out and see what we can find. It's gonna be great. So I went in and typed in art and the first things that come up are just a bunch of nail art tutorials and that's boring so let's move on. Here is how to draw OP art. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to mean so let's start with this one. Okay so it's like optical illusion art. I see. Not overpowered art. Cool stuff though. It looks like carrots. More nail art. Ah here we go. How to appreciate art. Art can often seem inaccessible because it has been stereotyped in popular culture as something that only particularly educated or wealthy people can enjoy. So true. Only rich people get it. I like this one because it looks like they're about to high five. <laughs> Look at this book cover. Quality graphic design right there. <laughs> I would read this book 100%. Maybe a person decided to write a whole book on the life and perspective of an artist but didn't want to hire an illustrator or graphic designer to do their cover. Oh, these pictures are so good. Why is the sign like this? Origin of painting, year 1860. Like, <laughs> shouldn't it be the title? Just a thought. Why is she clapping in an art gallery? The artist is not there. The artist is dead. Long dead. The people who clap when a plane lands have nothing on this person. Learn what you like and don't like. Well, I can't really see what she's looking at. Yeah, but I can tell what she feels about it. This is me looking at AI art. Next up, how to be good at art. As you can see, the reason for being good at art is to make money, perfecting your craft, go to the art store when you can order everything online. Okay, I actually do love art supply places though. <laughs> this guy better watch out though. He seems to be being watched. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is what art teachers look like. If your art teacher doesn't wear a beret, they're not a real artist. I wear mine 24 hours, 7 days a week. I sleep in it. I go to the store in it. I just never, never take it off. It's stuck on my head and there is nothing you can do to disprove that. What I think is funny about these WikiHow articles so far is how traditional they are. Like going to art galleries and when it lists all the art mediums you can use, it's all traditional like oils and sculpting. And apparently you can look online for an art teacher, but they have to be local. If they can't yell at you to your face how much your art sucks, then it's not going to sink in properly. <laughs> Art school. This guy does not look happy to be there. Here is another book. This time the graphic design is a bit better, but instead it's just called Artist. What is in this book? What does it teach you? <laughs> Never stop reading. Okay, what is with this person in hating digital and internet stuff? Well, the internet has some of these resources. You will find the most comprehensive treatment of these subjects in full length of books. I mean, art books are great and all that, but there is so much more stuff on the internet that you can learn from. And so much of it is free. Practice, practice, practice. Find your creativity. If you aren't as eccentric as possible, you need to rethink your life. Wear your beret and your stripy pants, of course. This really is just what artists look like in real life. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, bye. Peace out. Get out of the house, go see the world, touch grass, building a career, here we go. And this is how you make a portfolio. You don't put your name on it, you just write portfolio of my art. And here's the end, the community Q&A. How can I find inspiration for my art? You have to go to a museum. I haven't gone to an art museum in so long. Not that they're terrible, it's just like, I can find better art anywhere else. I have my art books and the internet, I need nothing else. How to teach art? Maybe I need to read this. <laughs> What's this image for? Okay, what is a visually compelling email? That has nothing to do with visual art. It's an email. That's writing. Lines, shapes, colors, values, and textures all have nothing to do with that. <laughs> okay, this guy just looks like an art teacher or any teacher. Here they're doing some still life drawing. Although I'm not convinced those people in the back can actually see that well. Maybe this kid in the front is drawing the bowl of fruit and these two are just drawing the back of this guy's head. This looks like, this, <laughs> ah, this looks like Mario. Yeah. Here's another example of an artist in person with their beret. How to kick in martial arts? Let's do it! Every artist needs a good fighting stance. I'm really learning a lot here. I think this will be very valuable for my future career. Roundhouse kick. How do we do that? This is, this, this is how I'm going to fight my way into the industry. What is that? What? Yes. Throw it no mercy. What if I made this the thumbnail of this video? Imagine if you were seeing this out of context. What would you think? I don't even know. <laughs> how to make digital art. Finally, we're getting into the
the digital stuff and it was updated in 2022 so I mean how outdated could it be? Preparing the illustration. Apparently they didn't want to use a digital painting for this so they just took a picture of an elephant and put a weird filter on it. Oh and look at that shading your drawing now it's shaded because that's that's what happened here. <laughs> how to master the art of kissing. Okay that's not the kind of art we want. This has 700,000 views. Oh my goodness. People. How to make an art portfolio. Compiling pieces. Yes, that is what a portfolio is. <laughs> As you can see here, you should keep your fingerprints off of your work because if you commit a crime, they won't be able to use your art to connect you to the crime. That's really basic information. Everyone should know that. Okay, we're going to look at one more. How to make fan art. I don't know why we need a tutorial on this, but it's been made. So you gather your materials, then you have to find an anime or, you know, a show or character, but anime is listed first. Is this an actual character? Who is this supposed to be? Who are you? I don't think I've watched this anime. Okay, and I said that would be the last one, but here's another how to learn digital art tutorial. And I'm curious what this one says because the thumbnail is just YouTube which is honestly probably the best advice WikiHow has given me. <laughs> Get off of WikiHow, go to YouTube. <laughs> hey, they're showing actual art in this art tutorial. That's pretty good. Don't stop at one artwork. You know, you just do one and that's it. All right, I think that's enough WikiHow consumption for a good while. I've learned some things. I wouldn't say any of those things are very valuable things, but they're things. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, consider checking out my other videos. And if you're not new here, consider subscribing. Bye.